so today we are going to be learning how to make some homemade pinky looking ice cream with just two basic ingredients okay so let's get straight into business you're going to be needing some whipping cream either in powder form or in liquid form what you are currently looking at is the whipping cream powder and the reason why i'm using this is because i can't lay my hands easily on the liquid whipping cream that we are all used to so whichever one you have both would work perfectly as you can see i just poured in my bowl a cup of the whipping cream powder two tablespoons of icing sugar and give you over four cup of cold milk don't worry guys the full list of the ingredients will be in the description box so whether you're using the whipping cream in its liquid or in its powder form i'm going to have the correct measurement for you in the description box so make sure you check it so now we are going to whip this cream till it is stiff peak we're going to whip this till it is very very thick and i also want to add that if you're going to be using the whipping cream for recipes like this or even for icing your cake make sure your cream and the bowl itself make sure it is quite cold which means that you may want to toss your bowl in the freezer for a while put your cream in the fridge for a while to just get it really cold before you start to whip so now at this point it is thick enough we are going to be adding some condensed milk um a little drop of vanilla extract and then we're going to whip this together again till our mix is ready to enter the freezer so you guys i hope you know that you can make your own condensed milk at home meaning that the one i used for this particular recipe i didn't have to go out to sketter trying to look for condensed milk i made this in my house in less than three minutes <laughs> and i'm going to show you guys how to do that in our next video so make sure you subscribe As you can see, I just scooped out a little portion of our cream into another bowl and now I'm going to add some red food color to give you that pinkish, reddish <laughs> look. This is absolutely optional but it's just a teeny weeny way of switching up the color guys, you know, just to make it look a little bit more fun but it's absolutely optional, okay? So now we're going to get out our, you know, our ice cream pan, our baking pan, whatever it is you're going to be using if it's a plastic container that you have now we're going to layer up the white and the pink color the white and the pink color <laughs> on top of each other like this like i said before this is optional you don't have to do all this area that i'm currently doing but you know just to make it look <laughs> a little bit pretty <laughs> done layering if you have like any toppings or any sprinkles you want to put on this you can put this at this point but we're going to just leave this as plain as possible for the sake of this recipe we're going to cover this up and then put in our freezer to freeze for at least six hours or better still just leave it overnight and then the next morning your ice cream is ready if you have kids you guys <laughs> you have to make this for them your family your loved ones will love this and it is so easy you guys you have to try this recipe i hope you get to try this recipe all right thank you so much for watching if you've not subscribed please subscribe bye guys Mwah.